Ah, what's up guys? This is Cody the Improper Engineer. I got a quick video today. Super quick, gonna try it one take. I think. Let's see how it goes. So let's talk about removing prints. Now, as you guys know, I'm a fan of making things easy to remove. Totally easy to remove. But sometimes it's hard, even with a flexible print bed, if you have a lot of tiny, tiny intricate objects, it's really hard to remove them without damaging them, no matter how much you flex that bed. Flex! I'm gonna show you guys a trick that I've been using for a long time, and I don't know anybody else that is actually doing this. But first, I wanna say I am in my new spot. I'm loving it. If you follow my Improper Engineering Instagram, you've been able to see a little bit of the new spot. You can see some of it here. My messy, messy workbench. Um, so yeah, still have some more organizing stuff to pick up and to finish, you know, organizing things because printers laying around like this aren't, eh, nah. But, um, I'm at least where I can start doing the videos again, and the lighting is terrible, I understand, I'm sorry, that will be changed here soon. We're having some electrical issues, so all the lights above are out right now. So, anyways, let's hop into the topic. Let's talk about spatulas. Now, spatulas aren't anything new. I'm sure every one of you are using spatulas to get your prints off, but are you using a sharpened spatula? Ah, ah. I need to go ahead and put a disclaimer in that I'm not responsible if you damage your bed, blah, 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 blah. You know, when you do stuff like this, you should always do it knowing that there's a possibility that you're going to mess something up or that you're going to scratch your bed. I've accepted that. Um, I'm okay with it, especially when dealing with thicker PEI sheets, because if you do damage your bed, you can just sand it down and move it back to normal. Um, with that said, let me hop in and show you guys what I do. All right, I will show you guys a prime line because I've already got the prints off of this bed and those aren't quite done. So, um, if you're using a normal spatula, like so, you can you know, keep going like this and picking away at it and eventually you'll probably get it off, maybe not, uh, but that's still incredibly inconvenient for me. So what I have done is I have sharpened my blade, focus, focus. I've sharpened my blade so that one side is um, sharper and flatter than the other, which I've marked top, because if you do it on the wrong side, you can severely damage your bed. Um, so yeah, it's, it's incredibly sharp. I did it with some sandpaper. Um, I usually do 800 grit. So if you'd like to do it, keep that in mind, 800 grit. And this is going to be hard left-handed. Let's hope I don't mess this up. So, as you can see with it sharpened, look at how easy that was. Super easy. One fell swoop. Gone. Yeah. That's, that's, that's what I love. <laughs> it's quick. No sitting here messing with it, you know, trying to make sure that you are holding at the right angle or whatever even though I was still doing it with this, but you saw it work flawlessly. So here's how you're gonna do it. You've got your 800 grit sandpaper, which can be gotten at any hardware store. And I've went ahead and taken a piece out. All right, now, I have this marked top, but I want you to know that you're going to kind of be doing this backwards. If you're following my steps, again, be careful when you're doing this. I don't take any blame for anything that you mess up. So even though this says top, we're actually gonna flip it over and you're going to do this at about a 45 degree angle, maybe even just a tad bit more, maybe, I don't know, 15, 15 to 20. And you're just gonna go back and forth, back and forth quite a few times, applying a little bit of pressure, and what you're essentially gonna do is sharpen the edge right here, so that the top edge will be 45. Now, for the bottom edge, you want it way more extreme, only a couple degrees. So you can, you can flatten it pretty well, just go back and forth and do that a couple times and you're, you're gonna have a good solid edge. Now again, be careful with this because after you do this, it will be sharp. You will be able to cut yourself with it. So be careful and do not forget which side is top. It's important, don't forget. That's kind of my secret. 
sharpened spatulas. Now, at one point, I was using a razor blade, and that was way too time consuming, and it was tedious, although it worked flawlessly. Um, I put a razor blade at the edge of the print, and I would kind of use my fingernails to wedge it underneath the print, then I would stick a spatula underneath of it. Then I tried sharpening the spatula and perfect, flawless. Now again, sometimes you may damage your print bed, so please, if you do this, do it with caution and know that I'm not responsible if you do it. I just feel like I have to say that. That's all I got. I'm glad, though, that I'm set up and able to do these videos again. That's exciting. So, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's what I got, folks. So, if you enjoyed it, let me know. If you did it and you thought this was dumb, boring, and stupid, let me know, too, because I'm open to all types of nonsense, good or bad. Good or bad. Yeah, there we go. All right, guys, the improper engineer is stepping out. I got orders to go fill, so I'm hopping off here, and I hope you guys have a killer weekend, and I'll talk to you soon.